Hey guys, what's going on? So last day here in Brunei. Plans for today. Um, first thing, heading to the Jamme Aser Hassanil Balkia Mosque. Hopefully I can go inside and I'll take a look and then um, probably go back inside the other mosque I've been to twice before. <laughs> Alrighty, so I've made it here to the Jamme Aser Hassanili Mosque, whatever it is. Yeah, I took the Alight Blue bus, which is um, the 01, it's a circle line, cost $1. I'm here inside the mosque right now. Um, actually pretty easy to get in, you just need to take your shoes off. As long as you're wearing like long pants, um, you should be fine. This is absolutely incredible, like um, the architecture, it's definitely luxurious, very impressive. So this mosque was um, actually built in 1992, so quite recently, and it was the, to celebrate the 25th year of the current Sultan's um, reign. So it's actually got 29 golden domes and this is the biggest mosque here in Brunei. Good no one to take a picture for me at this mad location. That's a shit thing about traveling solo. Don't have someone to take your pictures. So just went inside the Royal Regalia Museum there. It's free entry and you pretty much get a locker, you know, allowed to bring a camera or a phone. You couldn't get any footage in there. Yeah, nice and cool in there, aircon. Um, it's basically about the Sultan, which is the king. There's a bunch of gifts um, given to Brunei. Pretty good. Pretty good for free. Nice chill air conditioning. Yeah, I'd say probably worth checking out, especially because it's been free. So right now I'm inside the grounds of the Omar Ali Mosque. A couple words on top of that. Yeah, um, there's pretty much like a tourist route. Um, so it's pointing to go around the outsides. Yeah, we've got this nice little lake here in front. So I'm like, let's check it out. So you know you sweat you cut off when you get in drips of um, that salty sweat in your eyeballs and it's like burning your eyes and you can't stop blinking. Um, that's just the reality of the Southeast Asian country. So right now I'm on that um, little boat on the sort of like island, what's well, not an island, surrounding the lake here at the Omar Ali Mosque. So here's the water and I'm on this little boat right now. There's no one here. So just went inside the mosque there, um, didn't get kicked out like Drew Binsky. Yeah, it's very impressive inside there. Actually, the gold domes, they're actually real solid gold, so it's pretty incredible. But right now, heading straight to this shopping mall because it's so hot. Need air con, need food. So I'm back from the mall there and picked up some gifts for the family. Got my dad this perfume. What's the word? Like, fragrance, bloody... Yeah, perfume. Yeah. I can't think of the word you'd say. 12 seconds later. Perfume, whatever. Um, oh shit. Oh fuck. Anyway, it's this um, Golden Empire one. Um, so this shop, it's like perfumes made for the um, the Sultan. Cost like $83. And yeah, then I thought, because um, I got that sizzling chicken there, and it wasn't enough, so I thought I'd get me some Brunei and KFC. So we've got, got this like zinger box, had this big ass piece of chicken with this sauce, pretty good. Not sure what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night, but um, you'll see what I get up to. Just been chilling here at the crib, binge watching Geography Now. Yeah, it's a YouTube channel. Planning on heading to this buffet, it's called, um, what's it called? Tarindak Desani. It's like a um, sort of all you can eat buffet. It's like 800 meters away, it looks pretty decent. Yes, yeah, so I'm pretty keen, so um, let's head there and see what they've got to offer. Made it back from dinner there. Yeah, it cost $22 for a um, buffet. Um, pretty good food, good dishes, enjoyed the um, dessert. I guess that's a wrap for this vlog. One thing I've noticed, but is um, lots of the people here in Brunei, they have like um, modded up cars. <laughs> it's quite funny. Yeah, it's just something I've observed. Tomorrow, um, probably, cause my, I've got a late flight, so I'm gonna probably head to the Empire Hotel. That's like a six star or seven star like luxury hotel. Um, you can go there even if you're not a guest and sort of check it out. Yeah, it's been good to explore Brunei, pretty lesser known country. It's kind of exceeded my expectations. I wouldn't say you have to visit Brunei, but um, if you do, it's, it's not bad. So I might do a video um, recapping my, my whole experience here in Brunei, sort of a reply to like 
Drew Binsky's video about why he hates Brunei and uh, just my personal thoughts. I'll catch you in the next video.